Hey everyone, my name is Ruin. We're here. This is going to be week number four of the UBL, and we're up against Moet and his Wakanda Weavile. Now, this is going to be a really, really scary matchup. Obviously, Moet is a really, really strong battler, and we're going to have a lot of kind of mismatch issues that I'm going to try to work around. But overall, this is just going to be a really fun match, I think. And uh, this is going to be mildly embarrassing, but I actually pretty recently started watching Moet, maybe over the past a few months or so. And obviously, I'd always kind of seen Moet around in the community, but I never really dove deep into his content. But I I found one night just binging his, his content as just a new viewer and now I have this chair. This is a very very expensive chair but back a few months ago I was in this really old like practically broken down chair and I was watching his videos and I just couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing uncontrollably. And uh, that was the first time, I laughed so hard that that was the first time that I actually ever fainted in my life. And I actually, you know, fainted so unexpectedly that I kind of like fell back in my chair and broke the back of it. And I just kind of like, and I like woke up like a minute later, like on the floor. And I was wondering, how did I end up here? And I was like, oh, I guess I actually kind of just fainted here. And uh, that was really, that was the first night that I actually started watching Moe's content. And uh, I've been trying to keep up ever since, but uh, it's going to be a really, really fun time just trying to watch him now. But uh, having that be the starting point, I'm just really excited to get into this one. We're going to see whatever the heck we can do. Okay, here we go. I'm super duper nervous, but we will see um, the Durant, the Gothitelle. Uh, Seismitoad, Rotom, Seismitoad, Rotom, Hitmonlee, and the Comfy. That's really interesting to me. Because right off the bat, that means no, no Ferrothorn and no Alakazam. Wow, okay. No Drapon. No Drapon is actually nuts to me. No Volibee is nuts to me. No Dracovish is nuts to me. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I kind of looked over his team and i kind of thought that i had a kind of guard against a scarf rotom speed because i really thought that he could easily bring dual scarf between scarf rotom and scarf dracovish and in fact that was exactly what he did in uh his week one match against slacking but not seeing okay i mean honestly i kind of think that i want to just lead off with this thing i think i can honestly maybe catch a seismitoad lead who knows maybe that's going to be possible i really honestly want to lead darmanitan if i'm being really really honest but obviously that's kind of leaving me open to getting trapped. The fact that there's no Dracovish for my Amoongus to kind of directly deal with. Also, this is my first time using an Amoongus. Well, in, in singles. I've used it a decent amount in VGC, and it's a lot of fun in VGC. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be the first time here, and um, I really don't know what to expect. I honestly have no idea. But there's just so much going on. I really don't know. Okay, so Durant's obviously scary. Durant is probably going to be the win con here. Hit only can do something i i it has a lot of i guess um a, a lot of options for I, I feel like this is an amoongus play every time right i feel like i, do, I just don't want to lose or, or give this um durant too too many turns to kind of do whatever the heck it wants to do if it goes for the home claws turn one i can get a foul play off um if it tries to hit me then i'm fairly confident that i can and if this thing switches out, then at least I know I'm faster. Um, this thing could be Scarfed. It could be First Impression. Yeah, okay. So I, I am faster. It's not going to be Scarfed. That's very good information early on. Brings in the Comfy here. And uh, this is super interesting because... Um, I, I mean, I honestly really want to sub. But I think whatever wants to come in, I can get a reasonable Spore here. I think the Gothitelle is pretty reasonable that it would want to come in here. Um... But yeah, I, I didn't think there was any chance it would want to stand. Brings in the Rotom, which is really interesting to me. But uh, we'll get the Free Spore off. Um, we'll get the Free Spore off. And actually, it, it just occurs to me that I really hope that I got my abilities correct on this team. I'm going to check out my pace. Oh, no, oh, no, I think I did check. Yeah, okay. I think I did get my all, all, my, all my abilities correct here. Um, regardless, I think that's going to allow me... Hmm... This could allow... No, this too... It's probably too early for this. Uh, hmm. How do I want to play this? I could just do this. Yeah, yeah. this might honestly be, be my play. So, yeah, I'm still kind of thrown off by the fact that there is no... There's no Dracovish, right? So, Dracovish was such a core part of my uh, thought process against this team. And... Honestly, Flare Blitzing seems super... Mm, I could also Zen Headbutt. I don't know how he plays and if you'd want to stay in here. This thing could also very easily be Scarfed. I'm going to click U-Turn. 
I'm going to click U-turn. I'm going to at least kind of test it out a little bit. He's going to try to wake up, which is fair, which is totally, totally fair. Um, huh. I mean, I could just get rocks up pretty early on here. I could just get rocks up decently early on and see if that nets me anything here. Um, this is going to feel good no matter what cons come in. I mean, obviously, except the Seismitoad, but Seismitoad is always going to be... Seismitoad is always going to be... Goes into the Durant. That's very interesting. I wonder if he thinks he can set up Pwn Claws on... On my Sunfisk here. I don't know. I guess we'll see, but I feel like I still make this play. I feel like I still make this play. Not having the Dracovish is such a huge kind of... I mean, I don't know, maybe... I would I would maybe argue that, that not seeing the... Let's the entrainment. Okay, that's pretty not poggers. But um, I would maybe argue that not seeing the Alakazam is even huger here. Uh, I am truant now. So this thing doesn't want to stay in. I think I'd make a double, but I don't know what double I make here. Um, oh, he wants to, he wants to, he wants to set up with Gothitelle. He's, he's trying to set up a Gothitelle play. Uh, so I'm going to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I just have to kind of prevent Gothitelle from being able to do what it wants to do here. And I honestly don't even know what a foul play does here. But I am very specially defensive, and I have to imagine that I take most hits that, that he would want to go for here. Um, yeah, I think I just click foul play, you know, like, no matter what happens here. Um, Gothitelle. If this thing is super aggressive cosmic power. Yikes. Uh, that is not a strong damage that I want to be doing here. I think I have to U-turn here. I think I have to U-turn here. And then what? I think I have to U-turn... Into... I think I U-turn into Darmanitan. And then... I don't know. I have to try to break this thing down and quickly, right? Very, very quickly. Um, I ultimately don't know exactly how much damage output I have here, but there's really only one way to find out. Uh, U-turn. There's another cause of power. Okay. Oh, this is scary. This is incredibly scary. But if this thing is max defense plus two... Do I have to give this thing up? Mm, I don't think I can give this thing up. I don't think I'm in a position to give this thing up. I'm going to click U-turn again. And then that would presumably allow in... Um, I think that means that I go into... Stunfisk. And then Stunfisk... Tries to land a Thunder Wave. And then we try to deal damage from there. I guess that's what that's how we play this, right? I mean, I, I probably should have packed Toxic on this... Uh, on this Stunfist set, but... Ultimately, I brought what I thought I had to here. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I hope that I'm not in trouble, but I might just be in trouble. Let's withdraw the Gothitelle. That's super interesting. I guess he knows that I had a chance to KO there. And, um, he does bring out the Seismitoad, which does allow me a little bit of initiative here. And I kind of want to bring out the Dragapult. I kind of want to bring out the Dragapult. I don't know if that makes things too obvious here. I could also bring in the... The Healerlisk. I could also bring in the Healerlisk. And if I do that, he almost definitely brings in the Rotom, right? I don't think he ever try just raw risks a Grass Knot going into this thing. I don't think he ever just raw risks the Grass Knot. 
That could allow me to U-turn out. That could allow me to U-turn out. Although maybe just no, no. He never risked the he never risked the grass knot. Right? He never risked the grass knot. And he's not even Rindoberry. There's just no way he miss he makes this risk. There's no way he makes this risk. If anything, he, he would probably think it's it's an opportunity to go into Gothitel here, right? I would have to imagine. I can't imagine him risking this. But I guess if he does stay in, it, it allows in... He does withdraw, yeah. If he um, if you were to switch out... Yeah, it goes into Confi, okay. Um, presumably... Presumably, my best answer to Confi is... I mean, my best answer to Confi might just be... Darmanitan. No, I don't think that makes sense. I mean, my best answer to Confi is obviously this thing, but this thing gets taken advantage of a little bit. Uh, it could... He could go straight back into the Gothitelle. And if he does that, then I could double out into the Darmanitan here. I don't think... I think this allows in the Gothitelle too easily. I think this allows in the Gothitelle too easily. I think I pulled this double. I don't know, man. I'm I'm kind of at a loss. I just I think he has to assume. No, he 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 he, he attacked with something. Uh, could be a trick room for all I know. Calm mind. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I think Darmanitan covers most things that I want to do here. Yeah, we are threading a KO here, even if it's max defense. Although, this does allow in Seismitoad, which is problematic. Um... Ugh, yeah. Okay. That's potentially pretty bad. Goes for another Calm Mind, which is really interesting. Oh, uh, now this definitely allows in the... This definitely allows in the... Um... Seismitoad, which I want to play off of. I, I really want to make that play off of that potential. But I also don't want to choke this. I think this covers everything here. I mean, this would be bad if he tries to synthesis up, right? This is obviously bad if he just tries to synthesis up on me. It goes for a draining kiss, okay. We'll see how much damage this does. Uh, way too much. But... We'll see. Was that Rocky Helmet? Am I Rocky? I honestly... Oh, no. I can't be Rocky Helmet. Um, why did he lose HP? Was that... Was that uh, just Life Orb? Did I miss the text? I put something to sleep. I thought I put to sleep. Oh, I put the Rotom to sleep. That's right. Yeah, I'm allowing this thing to synthesis up, which is really not good. It's really not good. I think I have to make an attempt at something here with a, with an aggressive switch again. But I really don't have that many good options here. I should have probably played for the toxic. It probably would have been better. I mean, I, I, I should have brought toxic on this is what I'm is what I'm trying to say. Um, how do I play this? I mean, I probably just have to risk this thing, right? I have to risk it. Ultimately, I probably have to give up a lot of damage on this thing just to just kind of attack this thing. But ultimately, it's how I get damage on this thing. Flare Blitz is... Um, I, I think it's even lower than it was before when I went for my last one, but... Oh yeah, it's, it's a lot lower, but will it get higher with Draining Kiss is the issue. And will I get a more favorable roll here? Because this is definitely really, really defensive. It's probably impish. Or, uh, what's the other one? Calm? No. Careful. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't remember. But, yeah, this is definitely max defense positive nature. And I definitely just have to keep going for this. I definitely have to keep going for this. Um... But if and when my Darmanitan goes down, that's when I don't know how I deal with this. Um, 
That's when I don't know how to deal with this. I should not have put that thing to sleep. I could potentially get 6 0 by Comfy. But... Even if... I don't know. This thing is... Oh, this is just so bad. This is honestly so bad. I, I really need a, a good roll here. If I can take this thing down on this hit, then... I'm, yes, okay, okay. I desperately needed that. I desperately needed that. Um, he had to play the role because uh, a Draining Kiss wasn't in a position to KO me even at plus 3 because it was max defensive. Um, but obviously, like anything less than max defense, I know this thing would have gone down a decent amount ago. And obviously... I mean, honestly, this is probably a moment just to bring in the Mana Buzz here now. Um, hmm. I kind of do want to go into the Mana Buzz here. Uh, how do I play this? I think I do this. I think I do this. Because this at least puts pressure on Gothitelle if it wants to come in. And... It just puts me in a position. It, it just puts me in the, in the best position that I think possible. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's going to go for rocks. He's going to be fine. Um, if anything, I think I think I have to put pressure on this thing more than anything else. So I think I just have to. I think I just have to uh, foul play. Even though I really want to go def go for defog right away. I'm down on time a little bit. I'm down about half a minute. But if I could wear this thing down, this thing could I could just have toxic. It it has knock off. Which is fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'd be more surprised if it didn't have toxic. I think what I do here is, oh, I don't, I didn't pack defog on this. I didn't pack defog on this thing. Okay, well, I guess I didn't pack defog on this thing. Well, I'm gonna click U-turn as I probably get toxic here. Oh no, I'm faster. Never mind. Okay. Well, I think, I think I go in here, and I think I've conditioned him enough to think that I might not have the power herb, and I think I'm going to get toxic here. It was for the Scald, okay. Okay. That Scald, mm, I, I really didn't want to get burned, but the Scald isn't going to matter too, too much. It's going to matter because, because of the chip I'm going to take, but uh, that's my own fault for not packing defog on this set but ultimately i, I don't know it, it was it was tough to kind of find the room for it i guess i got to drop to u-turn but then it put me in a bad position with other kind of things that i needed to do here and we'll see if we can catch this we'll see if we can catch this seismitoad on a power up so okay so funny story right in the only other time that i used a dragapult um i was given a team in the ncp and three separate times i tried to bring power herb solar beam Every time it didn't work. They either scouted for it, they either um, just made a switch for, for for positioning reasons, or just something didn't work out. Where I yeah, this is gonna be I believe the fourth time that I try to bring power up solar beam and it just doesn't work out for me. So I should probably just stop tr just stop trying to do this altogether. But um, this pretty much I think con confirms scarf on this thing. And if anything, I mean this was either scarf or sack. I think it's more likely. I don't know. It it could easily be both. It could easily be both. But, um... I think this thing has had two turns of sleep, which is scary to me. It's very, very scary to me. Knowing that. And I don't exactly know how to manage that. Actually, how important is Dragapult? It's actually mildly important, now that I'm looking at it. It's actually mildly important. Um... Could I make this play? Um, he might go for Dark Pulse, which would be problematic. But, yeah, I think I make this play. Regardless. I just... It's just too tough to risk it here. It's just too tough to risk here. He stays asleep. 
But uh, thankfully, I think this should. I mean, I don't know what I want to risk here. Heal this against Rotom. Um, U turn might not do it, man. I think I have to click Volt Switch. If he makes a Seismitoad play, then he's a Lord, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'm not the most worried about Seismitoad because of. Yeah, there's the Volt Switch. I'm not the most worried about Seismitoad only because. Only because. If this should allow me to get the Dragapult back in, maybe? Question mark? Um. I don't know. I really don't want the Seismitoad coming back in. Although, I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world if the Seismitoad wants to come in. Yeah, he has nothing that really wants to deal with my Dragapult anymore. So I can kind of just do this for free. But, but, I took a mildly big risk only because I really didn't want to get, um, caught on, on, a, on the turn that, that, um, the thing wakes up. That, that the Rotom wakes up and it happens to be Scarfed and I just, you know, lose. So, I mean, if the Seismitoad comes out, I think I have to drop a Draco. It's my strongest move and I just have to drop it. I just have to drop a Draco, and it does look like a bit of a roll here. I mean, this is on a physically defensive um, siding with Toad, no less, but I think ultimately we're just going to have to see. I mean, maybe this is super specially defensive. Maybe this is built to kind of take on my my, my Dragapult, but uh, yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's huge. We're able, we're able to just drop a Draco, and from here... I think this might invite in the Gothitel. I think this might invite in the Gothitel. And if it does, I mean, on the Gothitel, I, per I probably just hard to go into Darmanitan, right? Um, and I think that's it, right? Goes into the Hitmonlee instead. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not great, but I think it's not the worst. He's, he's not going to fake out here. He's not going to fake out. I mean, I feel like I just attack here. I feel like I just give it the Dragapult here. Just for a little bit of damage. He um, I if I had to guess, this thing is going to be... This thing is going to be like close combat White Herb. That'd be my complete and uh, complete guess. You do get a special defense drop. Goes for the knockoff. And um, it's going to be fine. It will allow me to go into... Oh, man. Amoogus is actually super risky here because I don't want to get my Shed Shell knocked off. I think I have to do this. I think I have to do this. And then this would allow me to... Actually, with the Special Defense Drop, that's actually... That Special Defense Drop makes this actually huge. Hitmonlee. Uh, I, I believe you saw this thing isn't Scarf because of the... the yeah, it actually does look like Volt Switch makes this uh, no longer a roll. I think. Well, okay. So if the, so if I hyper voice, hyper voice gives me a better chance at this. But if I hyper voice, and the, and it allows me the Durant. Well, no, the Durant's an entrainment set. So no, I have to click Volt Switch. I have to click Volt Switch. I think if I have to sack something, I have to sack something. But I have to click Volt Switch. Does withdraw. Interesting, interesting. Goes into the Durant. Goes into the Durant. I'm very curious to know how much this Volt Switch does. Is that a straight up? No, it's not a straight up KO. Oh, it's an eject. Okay, okay. That's that's totally fair. Um, I am still I am still scarfed into Volt Switch and it and it denies my, my switching out. Actually, yeah, that's a very strong play because it resets his his uh, defense drops. But this is still going to be a, a mild roll. I think ultimately I still have enough damage, even if he does like have some crazy setup move that set, that sets up his his unburden right now. Yeah, he's going to set up his his own unburden here, and that is a lot of damage for an unburden. Um, so it, so it was actually a fake out unburden, which which I originally thought. But what I'm going to do, I probably sack off the Mandibuzz, right? Because Mandibuzz doesn't do anything else for me here. I'll probably sack off the Mandibuzz. Actually, Mandibuzz deals with the... Uh, 
No, I probably just do this. Yeah, yeah. I think I have to just do this. I'd have to deal with the consequences if I get knocked off. If I get knocked off, then I just have to deal with the not with the consequences of getting knocked off. Goes for the close combat. So it's totally fine. Um, if I don't know. I mean, I think if anything, he would definitely want to. He would definitely want to bring in the. He definitely want to bring in the. What's the what's that thing called? Um, the Durant first to, to entrain me before he goes straight up for, for um. I think I have to switch out here. I think any of the other play gives him too much momentum here. Oh man, this is tough. This is so tough. I just don't want to make the wrong play here. This might be better? Question mark? No, this is definitely better. I just don't want the god to tell to beat me. If nothing else, I just don't want the god to tell to beat me. Um. But. This will at least. I don't know if I'm overthinking it. Maybe. Maybe I'm just overthinking this entire thing and, uh. I don't have much to worry about, but I'm just so worried about. What can happen here? I guess my ideal scenario. Hmm. It's always going to be super tough. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly at a loss. Because there's no stopping a Gothitelle from still beating me if it's just the sword power set and it can set up to a million. I think ultimately what I'm going to have to try to play for is even if I do get, um, even if I do get, oh, there's a static. It's, it's, it's not going to matter. Even if I do get, um, entrained here, either one or two things is going to happen, right? Either the Gothitelle traps me or I get entrained. No, if the Gothitelle comes, if the Gothitelle comes in, then mm, it's going to be tough. Well, okay. So if the, if the Gothitelle comes in, then I 100% Thunder Wave and then I try to just Foul play it down. That's all I can do, right? That's all I can do. Um, and then from here, I just hope I don't lose. I think I'm gonna at least. Okay, so I think the moral of the story is I'm gonna get it weak enough where where Darmanitan can clean up the match, right? I think that's ultimately where I need to be. Um, but that's going to be risky, and that's just how I have to play the end of this matchup. It's going to be tough. That's doing no damage. This thing is going to get to plus six, but as a Darmanitan, if this thing gets to plus six... Uh, if this thing just gets up to plus six, yeah, Flare Bliss is doing all next to nothing. Uh, so how do I beat this? Um, I mean, I can, I can, I can create a foul play. No, I don't know. Um. Well, now that it's paralyzed, it does open up a little bit my Manda Buzz to kind of deal some damage, but it's always going to be tough. It's always going to be tough. <laughs> Probably next to impossible. This Gothitelle can 100% still beat me. But I, I just didn't, I just don't know how, to, how I could have played around it. Oh, actually, okay, so I was talking about this a little bit earlier, but um, my other play is once this thing goes down, that's a crit. I still always have the option of going into Helisk and potentially trying to paraflinch it. Um, I can always just try to paraflinch it with Dark Pulse. So that's always an option. And then he's begging for crits and all that yada yada yada, but um, so yeah, I guess so yeah, I guess that's my out here, but it's never going to look pretty. It's definitely never going to look pretty. 
What's like a plus six heal list doing? Or heal list doing against plus six? Uh, it looks like Dark Pulse is doing. It's rest. Okay. This is tough. Is it rest sleep talk? Is it rest and sleep talk? No, I no. I think it's rest causing power. Rest causing power, stored power. And and I swear I saw another move. Maybe not. Maybe it is rest sleep talk. I just don't know. I like I don't know what to do. I just don't really know what to do. I mean, I mean, maybe I could at least check just to see if if he if he um if he brought the wrong set. Maybe maybe he messed up his abilities. We let, let's see. Let's give it the old check. No, it's fine. Oh, I'm also almost out of time. That is that really does suck. I think I think regardless, I don't win here anymore. I really don't think I win here anymore. But I'm gonna at least try to click as quickly as possible and, and try to get as many turns in as I can. But um, the, this is always gonna beat me, and I think the timer is always gonna mm, beat me, even if I do um, somehow get a bunch of crits back to back to back. <sighs> this is going to be such a yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, like, I don't know what I could have done differently, right? Because. The thing is, Hitmonly was so fast that there was never really anything I could have done to outspeed it and have something in that can deal with that uh, that can also deal with a Gothitelle, right? So, um, I did what I could, I guess. I guess what I should have done, I guess what I should have done is kept my Amoongus in there, at least try to put it to sleep, but I would have gotten my my, my Shedshell knocked off, and I would have been in the same position regardless. Right? But, if I have it raw asleep, then I have a chance to, to still foul play and still get some foul play crits off and do all that stuff. Yeah, so maybe that's the uh, a better play overall. Or, I could have brought in the Mana Buzz, right? And, and the Mana Buzz at least has the option to 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 U-turn. So, I don't know. Maybe that was the answer. Maybe if I had gone into Mana Buzz, then I, then I would have foul played. Foul play would have been doing a little bit more damage because of the stab as well. But... I would have, I would have, uh, been able, once it clicks rest, at the very least, I can click U-turn, and then I can bring in something, but it doesn't matter, because it's, I'm not, I'm never going to be able to break this, right, so, I don't know what I do here, at least I'm clicking fast, right? There's finally a sword power. Which is not a KO. But he's probably a plus six regardless. I should have clicked Thunder Wave, honestly. I de yeah, I definitely should have clicked Thunder Wave at some point. I'm going to attempt it here in case he does anything else. But it shouldn't matter. I think now I just, I don't know, beg for crits, right? I can try for crits and flinches. I, I probably go into the heal list first. And I try to make some things happen here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just don't know. I just don't know. That hit only really pinned me in a way that I really had didn't have counterplay against. Um, we can see at least how much damage. That was a crit. Do we also get a flinch? You also got a flinch. No, there's a sword power. But that's huge, actually. Okay, so it opens the door for a Darmanitan crit to, to win this match for me. It opens the door for a Darmanitan crit to win the game for me. That's huge. A Darmanitan crit could win it. Could Fast Money Flamethrower do it? Come on, I just need it one time. I just need this one time. Just give me the crit. I've gotten so many turns in the past like 17 seconds of, of, of timer. I just need a crit. Honestly, he could switch out. No, he couldn't. I just need another crit. I just... Ugh. Man. That's rough. Goes for the charge beam. Which uh, I don't think matters here, but... 
Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean, I mean, Mandibuzz can crit, right? I at the very least don't want to lose the timer, right? That's my main goal here. Maybe, maybe I should have gone into. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't think that was on my end. I also don't think it matters. Give the rest like, of the Kalos got to tell. I don't think I ever broke my way out of it without uh, some other massive crits, but and that's going to be week four, right? I really don't think I could have played that any differently, right? Because that hit only was always going to knock off my Shed Shell, which is always going to cripple me against the, the Gothitel. I probably should have just... I probably had to use the Mandibus to deal with the hit only so that I can U-turn out. That was probably my out. That was probably my, the best play that I that had available to me. And then from there, I could try and make some other things happen. Either way, that's going to be free. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL. Hopefully, ones I don't run as long as this. And hopefully, ones where uh, I don't get pinned as, as badly as I did. But and, uh, there will be uh, a, way, a new league uh, coming up really, really soon. And uh, new leagues coming in the new year very, very soon. But with that one, thanks again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, out.